Hey you guys, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, my skin looks really clear for a change. You guys, I've started back with my um, skin regimen because for a while there, I wasn't doing jack shit. So, I am back kind of sorta, and I'll explain here in a bit. Um, I need to take this time off because we are still, it is March 25th, we are still undergoing um, uh, things with the house. Our bathroom is not done. It is not done. With that being said, what I have been doing um, since I've been on break, I've actually been recording. I just didn't want to feel obligated to release stuff because I, again, we have things going on in the house, family, work, etc. So I have enough footage to where I can release stuff for the entire month of April and not technically have to be rushing to get any content out for you guys. So I'm officially back for now. Um, and the footage that you're gonna see in this particular video is from all of March. I wanted to show you guys what's been going on. Now our tub is supposed to be here this Friday, which is the 29th. They should resume construction for the first week of April. So by the time you guys get used to seeing some videos, I should start picking up vlogging again, like every two weeks. And then again, it will be every weekly like I used to be. So yes, y'all, I hope y'all miss me. Girl, grab your snacks. This is a long ass vlog. Grab your snacks, get you some water, get you some wine. <laughs> Whatever you want. Real quick update on my hair. My hair has been flourishing. I know some of you guys follow me on Instagram and I've been trying to post as often on um, YouTube. My hair is growing and my hair, I've said this plenty of times, my hair grows out here and then it gets, it falls down. It is thick as hell. When I took, I'm just gonna take this, and this is, this is old, not old. I mean, I washed it three days ago. You really can't tell it here, but Y'all have seen the pictures. It is growing. It is thick. Um, <clears throat> and Miss Arlette was right. She said that I should be back at my length by the end of May or so. She's absolutely right. My hair is getting long and I'm loving the health. Health over length. I've always said that. You guys, I have so many great ideas. So many collab ideas coming up. I'm really excited to be coming back. I needed the rest. Um... Uh, I have some exciting news that I kind of want to share, but I'm not sure. Girl, I'll go ahead and share. I wrote a book. I wrote a children's book. I already, always had these ideas for writing children's book. And I wrote this book in 30 minutes or less. And I feel like if something comes that easy to you and it's something you like to, to do, it may be your calling. And so um, I read the book to JB. He loved it because it's that age bracket, okay? I read the book to my husband. My husband's very hard to please, girl. Uh, unless I'm twerking. At, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. But he's someone who isn't easily impressed. So I read the book to him yesterday and he was like, that's ready to, that's ready to go to, to a publisher. I said, are you serious? He's like, yeah, that's, that's a really good book. It, it, it's short, gets straight to the point. He's like, you really need to look into finding an illustrator, etc." So that is a project I'm working on. I have a couple of friends who are actually published authors in all types of genres. And so I'm really excited about that. I just want to take my time. I'm, I'm, I'm a little afraid because it took me all this time to write the book. I've had the idea for almost a year. And like I said, it took me only 30 minutes to actually write it. So I'm going to rewrite it this weekend, type it up, and then reach out to a friend for advice on finding an illustrator, whether or not I want to approach a publishing company or self-publish, which I probably will. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Getting into children's books is... Yeah, I've done a lot of research in it and it's it's very intimidating for me because it's a new atmosphere. So y'all pray for me in that to where I can release that fear um, and just do it. You only have one life, right? That is something I want to encourage you guys. You only have one life. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. I mean, I've heard, I've heard so many people who have suddenly died and people who've had near death experiences. Um... And there's gonna be pl plenty of more people who are gonna die this year. But, but the fact of the matter is, is that we only have one life. If there's anything that you want to do in this life, do it, go out on a limb and do it. Don't allow fear or your circumstances to hold you back um, and change your attitude. I, another testimony, many, many testimony, those of you who've been following me for a while, 
I've been wanting to get a promotion at my job. And I've seen people left and right get promoted who quite frankly at the time, I didn't feel like, not necessarily that they didn't deserve it, but it was like almost self-pity, why me? I've been here for six years. I am the SME, the subject matter, matter expert. These people are coming to me. What the hell are they doing? I had to change my attitude and my mindset about, I can't be worried about why the hell they, they got to promote it as opposed to me. Let me up my game, do what I need to do. So my manager and director approached me a couple of weeks ago, two weeks now, and basically said, um, you've been nominated for a promotion, which is so hard to get nowadays um, with my company. It, literally the entire department, you have to compete for a promotion and only three people. My department has about, my department has about a hundred people. And so three to four people a year is promoted and I've been nominated. I think I'm gonna get it, Christine thinks I'm gonna get it. Christine's my friend and coworker. Um, so I am already thanking God for this promotion. But I guess my point is, is that I had to change for that blessing to come down, okay? Um, I had to change my approach. You know, the Holy Spirit told me, whispered to me, I, I think it's a whisper sometimes, the guidance, that, you know, why why should I give you this when you're not even doing, you're not even giving 100% of your job, yet you worried about what other people are doing. Give 100% and maybe. And so once I started to change my attitude, and honestly, I didn't even think it would, it would come this fast, but it's always on God timing and God's timing is the perfect timing, okay? So it, I'm saying it's gonna come. So anyway, I'm claiming it. I'm still changing my attitude. And even if I don't get it, I still will have an attitude of Thanksgiving. So that's something that's I wanna encourage you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It is real life, girl. You are gonna see some foolery. I'm gonna be upset, but then we're gonna simmer down towards the end. So thank you guys for your patience. Um, I should have another vlog here in a couple of more weeks. Bear with me, y'all. It is stressful and there's a lot going on. And when people coming in and out of your house, all those spirits. So um, like I said, I will be back. There will be hair related videos in between here. So thank you guys again. Take care. Bye. So this is what the bathroom looks like now. Now we had our countertops redone, um, new sinks and stuff done last year. You know, when you have a house, especially when it gets into 10 years and over, you have to do things to keep the house up. Um, one of the other things that I definitely want to do with this bathroom is to do a trim, the bathrooms in general, is to do a trim and change out the actual, these are so old, you know, change these out. Okay, whatever. Um, the shower is old, this is dated. And yeah, we're getting a new um, shower head and everything is gonna be redone. So, I'm going to buy some decorative towels to go here and I'm thinking about switching out the rugs. I don't know if I want to do that or not because the bed, the bedroom is green. Okay. The bedroom is green for now because I do switch it out. Y'all, you have to excuse if you see here or anything. I, I did not clean. Okay. The first I'm actually came, coming on showing you guys. So yeah, um, my hair is in twists. This is how I've been wearing my hair. The house is being painted and we wanted to get this done though first and then get it painted. but. My husband is like, you may want to see, because by the way, I also did hire um, a house cleaner, because you guys, it's about to be the uh, springtime, and JV is already sneezing. I am sneezing. We have hardwood floors and porcelain floors, which are very hard to clean. I'm going to be honest. I probably have time to clean the hardwood floors once a month and that is not enough. It's just not. So I did hire someone. She's very affordable. She's going to do all the dusting, dust the blinds, dust the baseboards, clean my floors, vacuum bi-weekly for like hardly nothing. Y'all. I'm not even going to tell you how much it's going to be, but it's very affordable. Um, what the actual hell? Y'all sorry. Ooh, look at that highlight, girl. Look at that highlight. Look, my voice is kind of cracking. It's allergies, the allergy and pollen is up in the air, so allergies are already flared up. This is the reason why I needed to take a break. What I'm gonna show is the shit I'm about to tell y'all, the stuff that's been going on around the house. I am so frustrated. I have never been so frustrated in my life. Just frustrated, beyond frustrated. Let me give y'all the date. Because by the, I'm not going to load this up until I officially come back to YouTube, which would be in another three or four weeks. Probably even like early April. Um, 
and I have some collaborations with other YouTubers and uh, I know one person in particular is waiting on me. So I know I need, to get, I need to get my shit together, but life happens. It is March 8th, it's Friday and I'm ready to sway. My voice is hurting, not hurting, it's cracking. I've been trying not to talk as much. I've been drinking ginger tea. Girl, so let me show y'all what's been going on. So, <sighs> one of the reasons why I wanted to take off, why I needed to take off is because one, we have a lot going on around the house that we want to do. Um, in the beginning of the year. My husband, we already, we already talked about this. We had agreed upon that we wanted to definitely get the house painted. And my husband decided, oh y'all, the coloring. My husband decided that he wanted to go ahead and get a new, you see the shit right here? We're gonna get into that. He wanted to go ahead and get a new shower. But while, he's, while we're at it, we might as well get a new Whirlpool. At the time, I was like, hmm. Okay, but you know, the priority is still painting. So, but no, he, he decided that no, we need to go ahead and get a new shower, whirlpool, and then we'll paint the house because you want to do the painting afterwards once everything's put in it. I support my husband, and I'm like, okay, whatever. We'll go ahead and get it done. He went ahead, we talked, we talked it over, we purchased towel, we purchased a whirlpool jacuzzi tub. I know my hair looks crazy, y'all. Um, he, he found a guy, read everything by the guy, and he was like, cool, that's, that's what you need, that's what you got, great. Monday, they come by, they were scheduled to be here at 10 o'clock, they show up at 11.30. They do demolition, let me show y'all what that looks like now. This is what the bathroom was looking like. So they took out the shower, and they took out the tub, all right? So, you see this space, okay? You see the space, right? You see this right here. This is technically where this shower is gonna go. Now, they can they can tear out this towel, sorry, the, the tub, and it could go out this way. You see this wood panel right here? You could take that out if you don't have enough room, but you see the space right here. Tracy come around, I'm like, cool. Um, let me get JB after school, after school, and they also have a field trip. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go to the field trip and just leave, and you know, halfway. So that's why I did. I called my husband, like, I'm on my way. I'll be there right soon because I wanted, I wanted to be here before the, you know, before he left and go to work. He goes to work at one. This is 12:30. He's like, take your time. They didn't even show up. I said, excuse me. He's like, well, apparently, um, the guy, uh, one of one of the guys who was doing the demolition, his child got sick in the hospital, so they didn't show up. <clears throat> so I get home and I, you know, I get the scoop. So my husband tells me, he's like, yeah, um, the manager didn't even know that the guys didn't show up to do the job. He, my husband called the manager and was like, where are your people? And that's when he found out there wasn't a family situation. I'm like, okay, all right then. That was Tuesday. Wednesday comes around. Oh, 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 sorry, let me back up. The same day Tuesday, the guy is like, I'm gonna have my project manager come over and I want you to ex guys to explain to him what everything you want done. And he's like, well, I have to leave to go to work. So, you know, you can, my wife is here. So I'm like, cool, yeah. The guy comes over, he's looking at it, right? He's looking at it, he's like, okay, so what do you want? I explain to him what we're looking for, right? So then he's like, okay, so what type of towel you have? I'm like, well, we have, you know, the towel that so-and-so told us to get. He's like, okay, do you have shower towel? I'm like, no, we have this towel that I'm assuming you could use for the shower floor, excuse me, the shower floor towel. He's like, no, you have to have shower floor towel, 12 by 12, to put on the floor. You can't use the towel that you have. Certain towel you can, but the towel we got is long. Okay, you can't use that towel for the floor. I called the manager and I'm like, um, we don't have shower towel. Did you tell my husband that? He's like, I'm pretty sure I told your husband that, you know, he needed to get shower towel. Call my husband up. He said that he told you that we were supposed to have gotten shower towel, shower floor towel. My husband's like, no, the hell he didn't. I, ha I have everything written down. No word did he say this. I said, okay, that's fine. So that night we looked around to figure out what we wanted. And the next morning I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go at this point. I'm gonna go get all the shower floor towel my damn self. Wait on the guys to show up. 
9 o'clock come, 10 o'clock come, 11 o'clock come. Then the guy, my husband calls the manager, where's your people at? Oh, they didn't, they didn't contact your wife yet? No, they didn't, and I'm on my way to work. It's 1 o'clock now. He's like, okay, I'm having to contact you. 1 o'clock, 1.30. The guy finally text messaged me, I'm on my way. I'll be there by 2. 2 o'clock, 2.30. Get a text message, I'm going to have to come in the morning. Which is now to this morning, this morning. I'm like, ooh, woosa. Helpful, you got a woosa at this point. Because I'm like, this, this is utter foolery. This morning, they come. The plumbers are here. They are early. They are right on time. Yeah, they're, they're here at like 8.05. That's on time. That's good. That's cool. The PM says, I'm on my way. This, is what, this was at 8. 8.15 or so. I'm on my way. I'll be there shortly. 9.30 he comes. Y'all. 9.30 he gets here. He gets here at 9.30. The plumber is looking at this area and he's like, your tub is not going to fit here. Let me back up. Cause I and Let me back up some more. While the, while the um, uh, project manager, excuse me, was here the first time he came, I said, can you come look at this whirlpool? Because I don't think it's going to fit here. I'm looking at it and I'm gonna show you what the whirlpool looks like now. I said, I don't think it's gonna fit here. So he's looking at it and he's like, well, let's go measure it. You want, you want me to measure it to make you feel better? I said, yeah, measure it and make me feel better because it's all about my feelings, right? So he measures it, 42 inches, come over here and measure it. He said, it'll fit, it'll be a tight fit, but it'll fit. I'm like, okay, cool. Plumbers come this morning, he's looking at it. Francisco is like, that damn whirlpool is not gonna fit over here. Excuse me, y'all. He said, it's not gonna fit. I'm like, what? And my husband is here at this point. <clears throat> so this 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 could have been a I told you so moment, but Miss Jackson's not like that. I'm not gonna do that because this is frustrating, right? Whirlpool doesn't fit. So we're like, okay, um, we need to get another whirlpool then. We need to get a pool. He's like, yeah, so I will take this. I can I can take it to the Home Depot for you guys and return it. I'll need someone to bring a card or something. Oh, y'all, can y'all see me? Because I don't have no clothes on. Sorry. Um, so I said, I'll come with you got, with, with the debit card and all that. Let me see if my husband left this debit card just in case he comes. So it looks like the, the Whirlpool isn't going to work. So I'll take it back. He says, okay, so show me the shower glass. My husband shows him the shower glass. And the shower is, is a... I call it a standalone. It's one of those three wall showers, really big. I didn't see the picture till yesterday when my husband sent it, sent it to me, okay? And so the guy's like, that's not gonna be able to fit. That, that what you order is not gonna be able to fit in this area. He's like, who ordered this? My husband said, I did. He's like, who approved it? He's like, your manager approved all this. Child, when I told you, now I was I was next to my husband drinking my tea. When I told you, tell you, I had to walk back in here. <laughs> I had to walk back in here and get out. Cause so at this point, they're telling us the whirlpool won't work, the shower won't work. We had to get some additional towel. The only good thing about it, I will say, is that since the shower, excuse me, the whirlpool was more expensive than what we have to get, so we're gonna save like $100, but the custom glass is gonna be an additional $600, $700. The towel was an additional, I paid like 180 for it. Hmm. I am over it. So when I, I, I snapped at the guy, the, the project manager, I snapped because I told him, I said, you know what? We have done multiple projects in the house and I will have to honestly say, this has been the worst. And he's like, oh wow. I said, yes, this has been the worst. Not only is this a waste of y'all time, but this is a waste of my time and my husband's time. This is absolute, there's no, no, there's no communication going on between you and, and Travis. That's his name, I'm name drop. Travis. There's no communication between you and Travis, apparently. And it's not right. And so the guy would agree with me. He's like, yeah, this happens a lot. I said, you know what? You may not want to tell that to a client where the work still needs to be done. I, I literally said, I said, I don't want to hear that, Jerry. I don't want to hear that, you know, that this happens a lot. Because we're still in the middle of a damn project. Keep that shit to yourself. So let me show y'all the whirlpool. And I'm, I'm going to have to hush shit up and go pick up my baby. So you see this? Let me, let me move this out the way. Do you see this? Do y'all see this? All right. So do y'all see this? Now you saw the area that I showed you, right? What in the hell would make that man think that this would fit? 
in our area. This big ass tub. The man proved it, right? Right? This is the towel that we picked out to go on the wall. And this is the stone that I picked out to go on the shower floor. And I asked him if he could do a border. And he said, yeah. Y'all. Hey, you guys. It is May. I don't know, girl. Google's supposed to be paying me today, so it's the 21st. <laughs> um, I'm just going to come on because there's some stuff going on this week. So might as well fill y'all in. Girl, what is those people talking loud as hell in the middle of my window. Did you hear those people, JB? Um, JB is home with me because yesterday, I gotta start. I'm so sorry, baby. Yesterday, I thought he was, oh, that's my neighbor, Joan. I thought he was pretending to be sick because he didn't want to go to school. So yesterday, he's like, in the morning, he's basically like, um, my throat hurts. I'm like, okay, let's gargle, gargle with some salt water. Um... And then he said something like, I don't want to go to school. I don't feel good. I'm like, nice try, JB. What you going to school? So I told him, I said, the only way that you're not going to go to school is if you have a fever. 15 minutes later, he's like, can you check to see if I have a temperature? I'm like, child, you going to school. So he's acting like his normal self, you know, and I take him to school. When I pick him up, he was real quiet. I'm like, oh, what's going on? We only live five minutes from school and he fell asleep in the car. I picked up his agenda and inside his teacher wrote, JB was very tired today and sleepy, sad face. And I took his temperature and sure enough, he had a temperature of 101, poor thing. So I gave him some medicine. He immediately fell asleep when he got home. He woke up, ate, um, went to bed and slept a long time. So took his temperature. Yeah, you got on blue. That that's the uh, chart, the color chart. So he got on blue, but he said he was falling asleep sitting down, and the teacher made him stand. <laughs> oh my God! They have a third grade teacher helping them, and she's a little strict. Um, the other one I really like a lot. Um, but anyway, you know that's how my mind thinks. So you know, case in point, I'm gonna be fat. Uh, we we're gonna be fat for the next. I would say the next two or three weeks while I am working out um speaking of working out we got a new treadmill thank god we got a new treadmill my per my husband purchased a new treadmill we're gonna have someone coming over today to put it together which is why i'm out early uh today was supposed to be a half day for jb tomorrow's definitely half day he's gonna go tomorrow if he's feeling good tomorrow's a half day and at this point during the springtime and early summer i am busy doing family but mama um reese was was sick was sick um last time for like like oh for a long good morning good morning good morning everyone it's friday it's friday and i'm ready to sway so yeah i, uh, I know i'm rambling it's friday kind of got some work to do this morning but y'all one of my goals is to really be careful with the amount of money i spend um, and I, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should do this. I already spent $40 this morning on Amazon, but it was stuff I needed. I bought a iPod case, iPad case, iPod, an iPad case for my, um, iPad that's coming in today. And I got some sweet almond oil, some erasable pants and some washi. Okay. Yeah. Those two things I didn't need, but I try to stick a budget like... I kind of want to go to Hobby Lobby. I think Hobby Lobby is having a 40% off sale on their paper studio items. Hobby Lobby is a good 20 minutes away for the next, I think I said a week. We're going to be fat for the next two weeks because I have been working out, y'all. <laughs> I've gone to the gym twice this week and today later on I will run. My goal is to, I, I downloaded the Couch to 5K app on my phone and I'm going to be using that to run. I'm also going to be doing hit on the treadmill. I know I'm going back in between when I'm, you know, this conversation. Um, but yeah, that's my goal is to do hit on the treadmill. And also you have to incorporate weights. I don't see how people don't understand. And I've come to the realization that you just cannot go and do cardio alone to try to lose weight. You have to incorporate uh, some type of weight resistance or strength training, I should say. Um, yeah, I have 12 pounds to lose before I hit my goal, y'all. My mini goal. So, I spent $44 this morning, like I said. And so, my 
budget for Hobby Lobby is $25. I'm gonna try not to go over $100 today, you guys, and that's gonna be it for a while. And you know what, after today, I'm gonna to cut it up. But what if I need it for emergencies? Maybe I should freeze it. Have y'all heard of that, people? <laughs> people, I've heard of that, people actually putting the credit card in a bag, pouring water over it and freezing it. Girl, that's just too much damn work. Just, just cut the damn thing up. Um, yeah, I know I'm doing the absolute most. What I want to give y'all a heads up on, I know this is super early, girl. My mama is having her 60th birthday party next February. When I tell you I am so excited, she's a planner like me. This is where I get it from. She's already planning her birthday party, girl. And when I tell y'all, my family, they do get togethers like this. They will have, when someone has a big birthday, and I come from a large family, which is why I, I didn't want a lot of kids, girl. My mom is the youngest of 13. My dad is the middle of 10. I literally have, I, I shit you not, excuse my language, I'm not even exaggerating. On one family, first cousins, we'll put it like this. On my mom's side, there's easily close to 300. Oh shit, he scared me. There's easily close to 300 cousins. Like seriously, there's first, second, third, fourth cousins, at least 300 cousins. Hey baby, hi sweetheart, how do you feel? How do you feel baby? You could be home with mommy today, okay? Okay? Cause you still had a little fever last night. Oh, Chucky, oh mama's baby. Y'all, so, JB was getting on my nerves this morning. I mean, he got up. He got up pretty late for him. He was up by 6.30. Y'all saw him. And he started acting bad. Acting crazy. So when you acting crazy, that's a sign to me that your ass is fine. So I got him together. He was crying, child. Cry, I don't want to go to school. I'm like, it's half a day. It's half a day. You'll be done in four hours. I don't want to go to school. I want to stay here with you. I'm like, the devil is a lie. So y'all, he is so spoiled. I know it's it's our own fault. My husband and I both spoil, especially my husband. My husband is worse than I am. We both argue who's worse, but I think we're equally as bad. Um, I ended up ordering him a toy he's been wanting to convince him to get his ass to go to school. I know, y'all. I know. I know. But Jamie's a good child. He he doesn't, you know, he's not bad, but um, that was just to convince his ass to go to school. And I dropped him off. And I saw all the moms parked going into that Moms for Muffins thing. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm, not doing that. So right now I'm at the gasoline station. Ain't pumping no gas. Um, child, I called my best friend this morning. She said she'll call me because she's getting her hair cut. I called my best friend this morning to try to get someone to help me with my spending problem. Yeah, I've been spending so much money. Like, just this morning alone, I spent $100 online shopping. I'm here at the gasoline station. I'm going to take my time. What time is it? I'll probably go to the Dollar Tree. I'll take y'all with me. I'll probably go to the Dollar Tree. I literally, I shop so much that people know me at these places. Like the lady at the Dollar Tree, know, like the two ladies at the Dollar Tree, they know me. They know me by first name. Like little places around here, they know me by my first name because I go into these places on a weekly basis and I spend money. It, so I, anyway, so the point is I call my best friend love y'all know who she is you you seen videos with her and so i'm like i think i have a problem i'm like spending money i've already spent a hundred dollars today she's like that's all i'm like yeah but that's money i really shouldn't be spending and she, so she's like look viv i mean if you told me that you bought a tesla and your lights are going out then yeah i was <laughs> i'm like a tesla i said no my point is is that I've been trying to work on savings and I just feel like it's not helping. Look where I went at early this morning. I didn't even eat all of it. I ate half my food. Half my food. I had a sip or two of this sweet tea. I'll probably pour most of it out. Actually, I am because I don't need the sugar. When I get home, when I need to hurry up and get home, my manager's emailing me about something that. You know what, I'm not gonna pour this out. I just got this. What the hell? Look at this. This is why people are fat as hell. What the hell is this? This is a large, y'all. Let me pour this out. I just need a little sip. I mostly drink water nowadays. Sorry, y'all. I've only I only got like five hours of sleep last night. Oh, it's dark, y'all. Hold on. 
I only got like, how can we do this? What the hell, girl? There we go. I only got like five hours of sleep last night and I was watching someone do a, a planning video and she had a big cup of coffee. Girl, I was like, I can literally taste the coffee. I was like, I really want some coffee, I really want some, but no, I didn't do it. I fixed myself some peppermint tea, and that's good. Um, coffee is really not good for you guys. You know, you, every now and then you hear those reports. It's the same thing with what they say chocolate. You hear these reports that come out every other year on the, you know, whether or not, oh, people who drink coffee live five times longer than people. At the end of the day, coffee is a stimulant and caffeine, I'm sorry, it's a stimulant and it increases anxiety, stress, it pushes you, it puts you in a, um, what do you call it, a fight or flight mode. Um, and it gives you a false sense of energy, yeah, no. So, it wasn't really hard for me to stop drinking coffee to be quite honest because I only stored it once I had a child. I was never a coffee drinker. Um, but then I started drinking it and I would probably drink a cup a cup only like a cup or half a cup a day and that's it so yeah anyway yeah i'm right outside of hobby lobby they got four minutes to open them go ahead and load up my coupon on my screen <laughs> um and then yeah all right you guys my ipad came in isn't she lovely this is what i'm going to be using to edit my video i'm yeah, going but hold on baby wrong. can i have that five dollars no of course not <laughs> Um, it's my fault, I know this is what I'm gonna be using to edit my um, videos on because my Mac is dead I'm really nervous though so I'm gonna keep my Mac technically I sold my Mac back to Mac but I have another 15 days to send it in so I'm gonna give it five or six days to edit my videos on this iPad and if it's a, a go yeah 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 then um, Ooh, I feel like I gotta sneeze. Then I will send in the Mac and get me a keyboard for this. Let me show y'all what I purchased, speaking of at Hobby Lobby, and then uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, but what, I'm hungry. What costs five dollars? Uh, nothing. Let me show y'all what I purchased, look. Let me show y'all. What? Isn't this cute, y'all? What costs five dollars, mama? Nothing, we'll see when you get to the store, okay? Okay. Isn't this cute? And then I got, these stickers but let me show y'all some other decoration i got when we have this house together it's gonna be another month y'all I'm, I'm recording here videos like i said but i won't officially be active until damn near may and that's just me me being honest um I don't want to do my she room until we have the house painted because I'm gonna have to end up taking everything down. That's not, that's just a waste. So let me show you. I've been slowly collecting stuff in this back room and I think I'm good. I have enough decoration. Um, I purchased this cute, cute cup that I'm going to put my pins in, markers. Isn't this cute? And it says, all you need is love and lipstick cute 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 and then I got these decorative um, I got a teal color and white I guess I could turn the camera around but whatever a teal and white isn't this cute that I can hang somewhere on the wall but yeah everything's coming together and it'll be so so cute um, I'm this close to changing the color of our house to like a light gray, but y'all, I think that gray color is so played out. I really do. The only reason, sorry, the only reason why I was thinking about it is that I was looking at houses in Texas, don't ask. I was looking at houses in Texas, the interior, and a lot of them were painted this light gray, and it was so pretty, but I think I'll get bored with that. So we're gonna stick to the khaki. And let me go ahead and get some clothes on. I don't know what we're gonna eat. Come on, sweetheart, this way. We are now in Bed Bath & Beyond because yeah. they got get three, get two free. I mean, buy three, we're get two we're free. Give this I ordered a pizza from I, Pita I Jungle, baby. And JB, stop it. Yeah, I haven't been in Bed Bath & Beyond in a while, but I need some body stuff, like to smell good for my husband, yeah. Yeah. God, 
everyone there looks great. A wedding dress. Oh my gosh. Look at these wedding dresses. What is this? Uh, Cancinetta. No, these are wedding. This is a wedding boutique. Ooh. Oh God, that's pretty. I hope they have that sale here. Come on, baby. Lord, be Vivian. Yeah, I'm surprised I haven't gotten a call about my debit card. As much money I've spent today. Oh, look at that cute purse. Oh, look at that cute spring purse. It's the most wonderful time. Girl, I poured myself a glass of wine. Let me show y'all what I got. I originally was gonna get the buy three, get two free, but that stuff was $12 each. I don't think so. So instead I got these little minis that were three for 12. Aren't these cute? I have not shopped at Bed Bath & Beyond in so long, y'all. This is cute. So Ooh, this is what I'm going to be using to upload my videos to this. So I'm going to play around with this iPad tonight. And if all goes well, the Mac will go away and I can get me a keyboard. And girl, what's my credit card? Like seriously, I'm about, to, I'm about to chop up this credit card. I know I got my bonnet on. I harassed Home Depot today and our tub finally shipped out finally shipped out so it should be here next week i text message the p hold on baby i text message the pm and he's like cool so as soon as we get it they will start construction construction will take a week so y'all we should pray into god i need to i really need to pray about this that we should have our bathroom all situated by the end of sorry by the, the second week of april and then we can start doing the household painting and hopefully they'll be done by the beginning of may i'm cutting up in your boot They haven't even processed the order. These kids don't know anything about time, do they? So you guys, it is Saturday, the day after Friday, of course. We just got finished going to fries, picked up some more groceries. Yeah, and um, I got my toy. Baby has a toy, he's so spoiled. We have a birthday party I'm that we have to go spoiled. to later on. It's from like, it's a weird hour from 2.30 to 5. Typically birthday parties are earlier. I don't know, I guess it depends. <laughs> We're only gonna stay there till four, but what I'm gonna have to do, I normally start That's cooking, so cool. baby. I normally start cooking around 3.30 because y'all know I cook, girl. I, I cook from scratch and I cook, you know, whatever. So what I I'm gonna do is I'm going to start cooking before we leave. Not everything, but like half of the stuff so that um, I don't have to rush and get everything done. We're not gonna be there till five. We will probably leave at four so that we can get back by 4.30. Um, no. What time is it? It is early, it's 7.30. Thank Call it you greens. for cooking. Um, the best cooker. Oh, thank you, baby. Even though you don't eat my food. <laughs> it's so sweet. But, but you, but you do cook um, good cookies and good pancakes. I do cook. He goes so sweet. I do cook good cookies and pancakes. Yes, I do. So um, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I probably around ten. And you guys, I'll probably explain this later on, which is you and I. Yeah. I'm gonna have to return this iPad. I am so frustrated. I spent most of last night, hey. you know, downloading. Hey. All right, y'all. Um. Woo! I'm in front of the nail shop. They open early. I did not know they open at nine o'clock. I don't know why Timmy and Tom didn't tell me that. I'm I'm gonna let them know that I did not know they opened at nine o'clock and they should have told me. <laughs> um, it's nine forty. I'm gonna I'm here early to get my nails done. But what I was trying to say before my child was driving me crazy is that I would not be able to use that iPad. I have it here, ready to go back to Amazon. The Mac that I have, you guys, I've only had this Mac for four years. And about three months ago, yes, three months ago, 
certain keys have stopped working and I've tried to do everything I looked online and apparently it's common with this particular Mac so I was like okay screw it let me go ahead I got me a little um bonus and so I'm like well let me take that bonus and buy myself an iPad got the iPad last night like I showed y'all immediately got on i know i went to best buy to get a usb which was like 40 dollars a usb s to sd card specifically for apple or mac <sighs> transfer everything over from my phone which girl now yeah i was like what the hell is going on so all you do if you have an apple phone you just you know touch the phone to the ipad and everything sink, sink down i was like what in the illuminati hell is going on you didn't have to do any type of transfer it just does it by itself as long as you as long as both devices are on right cool so i use my husband's ipad i use his ipad um to help him create a movie through iMovie and it was really really simple why when i got on mine and i looked it up i'm like what the hell this doesn't look anything like my husband's the tools are totally different the specific iMovie excuse me it doesn't have anything it, it has your basics very basics so long story short girl i cleaned that damn ipad and it's here ready to go back to amazon the good thing about that is because i spent so much money yesterday between today and yesterday i have spent four hundred dollars but because of that um i had to i'm having to return a lot of stuff i don't i no longer need the usb card i no longer need my ipad case um i also returned some other stuff and so what's the point um this thing was like almost nine well, everything together was almost nine hundred dollars so whenever i get that money back what i'm going to do is pay um uh, towards my credit card for the stuff I, I spent this weekend to where it will look like I only spent like a hundred dollars instead of four. All right, y'all, we are on our way to the birthday party. Let me show y'all my hair. Let me get in the light. Come to the light, Carolyn. <laughs> yes, girl, my hair is growing, you guys. Granted, it's stretched, but it really is growing. Let me get in front of the, yes, yes, see? I think that I, I thought that I would, it would take to May well, yeah, and by May, I will be at my length again because it is growing extremely fast. Yeah, so all right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and go to this party. I'm going to leave my camera here. That is it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.